What's on guys, Jason back to my channel and I'll be doing a review for AW Rampage and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get to it then. So here we go. Alright, we're going with the first match, Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta versus the Dark Order. As Cowboy welcomes Lionheart Chris Jericho on commentary with him as a theme for Orange Cassidy, his outcomes are freshly squeezed on himself, accompanied by his partner for the for this opening bout. Uh Trent Beretta Corey in the ring are their opponents, the Dark Order duo of John Silver and Evil Uno. The bell sounds fresh over in this one. Cassie and Evil Uno uh, kick things off for their respective teams. Tony Schiavone, which is the Crockett family, well, as he talks about the passing of cameraman James, ja uh, Jackie Crockett, Jericho heard this for the first time right there and reacts uh, accordingly. Meanwhile, Uno uh, drops Cassie early on. Cassie ki uh, kips up and does the dramatic hands in the pocket routine, but Uno stops him. Cassie gets the better of him and then tells him to wait so he can do the pockets routine again. This time, John Silver hits the ring and puts his hands in, his, in Cassie's pockets from behind him. Cassie and Breda hit a double uh, team spot on Silver and then uh, another one on Uno. Um, the, they do the double uh, biceps pose and go for the best friend best friends hug but the dark order stops them for some cheap heat they take over the, on a fence a fence on that note uh and then we hug each other for a mild pop we head to a mid-match commercial break when we return we see the dark order is still in control of the action trend tags and helps his te his team take over kazi hits an orange uh punch and trend follows up with, with storm zero for the win Cassie bumps fists with Jericho on commentary after the bout. Uh, once the match wraps up, we shoot to a quick uh, message from the righteous duo of Dutch and Vincent. From there, we head to another commercial break. So the winners are Orange Cassie and Trent Beretta. Um, t our next match is Timeless Twin Story and Mariah May versus Little Mean Kathleen and Kayla Sparks. When we return from the break, we see Sorrel and Harley Cameron backstage yelling at a cameraman to follow them <clears throat> uh, with Soraya's brother, whom he, uh, whom she and Harley tells to beat up some random um, people hanging around backstage. He does back inside the, um, he does, uh, sorry, uh, back inside the TD garden. We hear the familiar sounds of the theme song of AEW Women's Champion, Timeless Tony Storm, out comes Mariah May dressed up like the old Tony Storm from the WWE NXT UK days and prior. Thomas Tony Storm comes out with Luther, uh, the butler as well. The two settle in the ring with Mariah May. Storm gets on the mic and talks about how they're going to send a message to Deanna Parazu and her mystery partner. Uh, Storm uh, attacks Kayla Sparks to get this match officially off and running. She and Mariah May uh, take turns being down Sparks and her partner Little Mean Kathleen until Storm hits her hip attack and May scores and May scores a pin. After the match, Dion Prazo reveals a, uh reveals Donna Rosa to be her partner. The two run down to the ring and run off Storm and May uh Prazo gets on the mic and says, That's why I thought Tony, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye. So the winners are Thomas Tony Storm and Mariah May. Alright, AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament Brackets Reveal. A special video package airs for the Queen Amina where she challenged Ray Velvet for next Thursday. She vows to win the ROH uh, Women's TV Championship. We then see the brackets for the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament. Um, on one side of the bracket, it will be the Young Bucks versus Private Party and the Undisputed Kingdom versus Wild Card 1. Uh, Wild Card 1. Yeah, versus wild card. I'm sorry. Uh, the wild card team will be determined via the winners and of a match between best friends versus the Don Cows family. The other side of the bracket features uh, Ricky Starks and Big Bill versus the Top Flight and FTR versus Wild Card Two. The wild card team here will be decided in a match uh, pitting and Fantry versus the House of Black. Uh, Kunoski, uh, she. Takashiya, whatever, uh, versus Commander. Now it's time for what should be a good one as Commander makes his way to the ring to a nice pop, followed by his opponent, uh, from the Don Cows family, the Alpha Kanoshiki, uh, Takashiya, the bell sounds, and off we go. 
Um, early on, we heard Chris Jericho inform us on commentary that he has been told um, he can't get physically involved in this match as much as he might want uh, to do his dislike for Don Callis. And then Don Callis, I mean, we see Commander doing well. Early on, Chris Jericho sings Commander praises until Commander hits a lion uh, saw, which annoys him. He says Commander gets away with that once, but he never better use, uh, use his move again. As Takashita takes over on a fence, we head to a mid-match commercial break. When we turn uh, f after some back-and-forth action, before we work our way, way to finish to finish things truly pick up this one and the crowd comes to life both guys hit high spot after high spot finally we all is said and done it is Takashiya who hits a power bomb and a bay knee before connecting with the spinning falcon arrow for the three count and the pin fall victory so where is Kenoshiki Takashita all right Serena D vows she will become a champion we see a uh, veil uh, package at Serena Deegan's hiatus due to injury and her road to recovery before making her in-ring return in recent weeks. She vows that she will become um, as part of this run. We then head to another commercial break. Alright, the Unspeeded vs. Top Flight action on Dreddy. Main event time. When we turn from the break, commercial break, we see a video package promoting our trio's main event, which features the Undisputed and Kingdom trio of Matt Taven, Matt Bennett, and Roger Strong. The Undisputed Kingdom trio make uh, their way out to the ring to a ton of booze. They sell inside the scorer's circle and await the arrival of their opposition, which features Top Flight duo Dante Martin and Darius Martin and their, par and their partner, Action Andre. After some early back and forth, fourth action which sees top flight hitting some high a big high spots as well as as andre we shoot gears and head to a mid match commercial break when we turn we see Ta tavin hit a line up promoting jericho to complain again uh, some more back and forth action leads to the finish which he's which he's uh which sees the unspeeded kingdom trio hit their finisher to pick up the pinfall victory, Excalibur does his speed uh, read through the updated lineups for tomorrow's collision, which is today, what tonight, whatever. And next week's Dynamite as we go off the air. Thanks for joining us. So the winners are the Unspeed Kingdom. All right, good show and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, um, there will not be no uh, AW Rampage on Friday. Uh, this coming week on a Wednesday, um, it will be. AW Dynamite as always and then after that back and forth will be AW Rampage on a Wednesday night for right now because I'm guessing the basketball or whatever will be on TNT uh, one of the games and my stuff so uh, yeah anyways I'll be doing those two and all that but yeah it'll be good so so next week which next Friday will um, this coming week will be only a Smackdown review so um yeah, which will be you know kind of short and all that stuff. But anyways, um, that was this. Uh, excuse me. That was it for this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And I'm pretty sure my other video was st still uploading for SmackDown, all that stuff. So um, yeah. Anyways, that was it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed this. If not, whatever. Like, subscribe, favorite, hit that bell button, and all that stuff. Whatever. But yeah. Anyways, that was it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later's.